yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ, and we're here at the conference championship week, and we are going up against Stanford, and this is gonna be another one of those rivalry games where it's pretty big, and this is gonna be exciting. And I'm just looking at, you know, the top five teams here. Auburn is undefeated, Virginia Tech is undefeated, and Georgia's won in 11. And we might have a chance at a national championship if we win this game. But we do need some things to happen. We need Virginia Tech to definitely lose. And then we probably need Auburn to blow out Georgia because if Georgia beats Auburn, there might be a chance where, you know, they both end up in the, in the national championship no matter what just because they have that SEC schedule. So we definitely need some things to run our way. Just looking at how the Pac-12 ended up being in the Pac-12 North, it was a mess. I mean, every team pretty much beat up on each other and Oregon actually had a three loss season, but they ended up losing three in conference. So they ended up losing that tiebreaker and they end up giving it up to Stanford. So they do have a couple of injuries. Woods is back this week and they do still have quarterback Jack West, who's had a decent season but remember they're a running team woods did run for a thousand yards and sims ran for almost a thousand in his absence he's he was about 300 yards short so this is gonna start this conference championship this is the first pac-12 championship we've been in and we're already in season four and this is gonna be a lot of fun so stanford likes to come out in a lot of fullback formations and a lot of power eye and a lot of single back so you're gonna see a lot of under center play and we start this game out with a three yard stop behind the line. So second and 13, here is West from the shotgun. He's gonna unload this one deep, but that. it's picked off by Andrew Jordan and two plays into the game. It's an interception. And now we are set up with the ball at the 45 yard line after the true freshman covering their best receiver. So now here we come back out onto the field. Our offense has been Pretty good, I'd say, lately. Here's Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's picking up a block that time from Carl Wolf and picking up a gain of 16. So first and 10. Here's a counter play out to the left. Denzel Knox breaks a tackle. He gets upfield for a gain of five as Denzel Knox, he's had a pretty good year, and I want to see more from him in this game. So here's a throw out to the right side. That's Matt Pollard, 10 yards on that throw. That was a, you know, thread the needle throw on that one. So now second and 10. Facing some pressure, throwing out to the right. There's Knox again in the receiving game. I actually like Denzel Knox in the receiving game. He's pretty good after the catch, and also Jay Taylor is good when you line him up. And here is Matt Pollard this time, the junior, getting in for the catch and up inside the five-yard line. So now under center, here's a handoff, and that's perfect blocking as Jay Taylor walks into the end zone for the touchdown, and we take the 7-0 lead. So big news, we actually get the break we need. Auburn blows out Georgia, and all we need next is Virginia Tech to lose, and you never know, we could end up in the national championship. So here comes Stanford on the next drive, getting a completed pass that time to Osiris St. Brown as that brings up a second and nine here. Is Jack West rolling out to the right. He's gonna pick up a gain of 11, tackled by Andre Armstead, but it's a first down. So at the 40 yard line, running a man in motion. Here's a handoff to Woods. He's gonna cut back and he's gonna take it all the way. And I don't know what Jamar Hardy was doing on that one, but he had a clear tackle and just let Woods run right past him. And that's a gain of 41 and a touchdown. They tie this game up. So on the ensuing kickoff, here's Jamal Taylor getting a lot of room down the left sideline. He's gonna get pushed out of bounds, but we're gonna start this next drive past the 50. So first and 10 from the shotgun. Here's Jennings scrambling out to the right once again. He's gonna take a sack. He's gonna try to get rid of that one, but he doesn't get rid of it in time, and that's a loss of five. Second and 15, here's Jennings this time, scrambling out to the left side. He's gonna pick up a lot of room, and he's gonna dive forward for a gain of 12, so he gets all that yardage back. Third and three, here's a counter play to the right side. Denzel Knox, can he get to the marker? He barely gets there. That's a gain of three, and now we are set up at about the 35. So third and eight, here's a throw out to the left. That's actually to the outside, man, and that actually gets caught by Junior Fioka, the tight end. So now on a first and 10, here's Jennings throwing out to the left sideline again, and he's got Raheem Akusi, and that's a gain of 16. So we're driving pretty well. 
So a couple plays later, we don't move the ball on first and second down here on a third and 10, scrambling out to the right. We're gonna buy some time and throw across the middle and there's Raheem Akusi. He's open and they forget to cover the middle of the field and our slot receiver gets in for the touchdown, making it 14 to seven. So now to come back out in the next quarter, Stanford under center this time, running their full back in motion, handing it off to Justice Woods who picks up a gain of three making it a manageable third and five. So under center once again, here's Jack West. He's gonna throw out to the left sideline and it's gonna be almost picked off, but knocked down by Josh Hemphill, the sophomore, and we get them to punt the ball away. So after that three and out, here is Drayvon Jennings back out to the field, throwing to the right side, and that's actually gonna be incomplete as we may have had a guy early, we didn't throw the ball early enough. So third and 10, here's a throw across the middle. That's Jay Taylor, he's got a lot of room and he runs into his teammate Raheem Akusi. That probably could have been a touchdown if Akusi wasn't in his way. So now on the first and 10, now past the 35 yard line. Here's a throw out to Jay Taylor again, he's getting hit. Well it's a gain of eight, I love to line him up at receiver. So now on a third and two, here's a handoff to Denzel Knox. He's picking up the gain of four and another first down. So we do continue to move this ball on the ground as we continue to run the clock as well. And that's a gain of six by Denzel Knox. So inside the five, second and goal, handoff to Jay Taylor. He's gonna spin his way inside the one, but it's gonna be holding. So this is gonna come all the way back to about the 13 yard line. So now in a second and goal, facing some pressure up the middle, Jennings gets hit and he gets it out to Jay Taylor, but it's a gain of nine and we're back inside the five. So now on a third and goal, two minutes left here in the second quarter, trying to buy some time, but too much, much pressure up the middle, and we have to throw this one away, and that's gonna be a field goal as we make it 17 to seven. So now two minutes left here in the first half. Here is Jack West back out onto the field. He's gonna find an open man. That's his tight end, Fisk, over the middle. He's getting tackled by Marcus Daniels, but not before picking up a gain of 36. So now we're inside of two minutes, a minute 42 and running on a second and seven. Here's Jack West, he's scrambling out to the right. He's gonna get tackled and not before picking up a gain of three, making it third and four. So now Jack West under center this time, third and four. He's dropping back to pass, we're setting the blitz. He's gonna throw across the middle. He's got Osiris St. Brown for the first down inside the 15 yard line and that's a gain of 21. He's only completed five passes up to this point. Here's a handoff to Justice Woods, who breaks through a gang of tacklers, and that's in for a touchdown, a 10-yard run. And wow, they're in this game. So now 14 to 17, and we come back out onto the field. Less than a minute left. Can we drive down the field, put together some points on this one? Here's Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right. He's getting sacked on that one, making it a third and 10. So now from the shotgun, facing some more pressure from the left side. He's gonna move out to the right. Jenny's gonna buy some time. And he's gonna load this one deep and throw it up. And it's gonna be deflected. And that's gonna make it fourth and 10. So we gotta punt this ball away. And Stanford has a chance to put some points up on the board. So Jack West is out onto the field. Three receivers set with the running back. Justice Woods in next to him. He's gonna throw out to the right sideline. And that's picked off once again by Andrew Jordan. The true freshman is having himself an incredible year. That one is his seventh interception on the year and he is just balling out and he's just figuring it out on that left side or that right side of the field. So now here on a first and 10, we're set up at about the 35 yard line. Here on a, is a throw out to Denzel Knox who makes a move on a defender and he's gonna take this one all the way on the first play of the next possession and look at this move by Denzel Knox. Just that hesitation inside, then moves outside and it's the touchdown. Oh, I mean, he just froze that defender and he got to the pylon and that's a touchdown. And that is gonna take us into halftime with that 24 to 14 lead. Can we capture the championship? So now to start the second half, here we go. We are about 16 minutes away from our first Pac-12 championship and a chance to possibly go to the national championship. Here's a toss out to the right, and that's stopped by the linebacker on that one, Adrian Lilly, and that brings up a third and 11. So now here's Jennings from the shotgun. He's gonna throw across the middle. He's got Raheem Makusi for the first down, 
Remember, we don't run hot routes. We just use audibles, and it gives us a more challenging way of, you know, play calling and not always relying on that quick slant and all those routes that get you pretty much automatic yardage. So now here is Denzel Knox on a second and one. He's getting the handoff to the right side. He's got a lot of room and great blocking to the outside. He's got a gain of nine moving past the 50-yard line set up at about the 35 now. So second and three. Here's a slant route across the middle. That's Raheem Akusi. He makes two men miss. And the third one gets him inside the five-yard line. That's a gain of 31. Drayvon Jennings has been on this game as he moves the ball inside the five. Handoff to Denzel Knox, who walks it in. And here we go. We are up by three scores now. And we make it 31 to 14. So now on a first and 10, here is Hamuli getting the carry to the right side. He's getting tackled by Isaac Tagia, and they move it to about the 33. So here on a third and three, here's a carry out to the right, and look at that hit by James Will Smith. You don't really see that too often from him. He's really good in coverage, but you don't see him laying the boom down like that. So another punt. And we are having a, we have a chance to make it 38 to 14. Here's a scramble out to the right. Jennings is gonna get sacked. Can't get rid of it in time. And that's gonna make it third and nine. So a minute 34 left in this game, in this half. Here is a throw out of, of the pocket. And it's gonna be intentional grounding, but doesn't matter. It's fourth down anyway. And we had to pump this ball away to Stanford. So here is Justice Woods getting the handoff. They're still playing this conservative style of football, and that's one of the things that I don't like about Stanford. They're too conservative at times. So here's another handoff to Justice Woods. They're moving the ball, though. That's a gain of seven. So now into the fourth quarter, running their tight end in motion. Here is Jack Woods, or Jack West from the shotgun. He's going to scramble out to the left and get rid of it to Fisk, and Fisk is going to get hit by Marcus Daniels. And that's the guy who's our big hitter on our defense. And here we go, fourth and two. Handoff up the middle, Justice Woods. He can't get to the marker. Take another look. We turn him to the inside, and he cannot find an open hole. And our defense just swarms him, led by Marcus Daniels. And that is going to be a turnover on downs. So now in a 31 to 14 game, can we lock this one up? Here's Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's gonna get rid of it, and it's gonna be picked off. And we give the ball right back to them. And now they're set up at about the 40 yard line after that turnover. And here comes Jack West out onto the field. So a second and 10 here, sending a blitz. And he's got Fisk over the middle on the stick and nod. And that's a gain of 34. They're set up right back where they were before on a first and 10 handoff on a draw play. He's getting tackled, and that's Andre Armstead. We haven't been able to get much pressure because they haven't even thrown the ball that much, but now they're starting to throw it here on a third and nine, sending gotcha, a blitz, bitch. but we're getting to Jack West, and that's gonna be Michael Cummings on that sack, and they actually line up to kick the field goal instead of going for it on a fourth and 16, and it's gonna be wide to the right. Wow, I mean, Stanford is just not doing anything in this game really I mean besides running the ball they haven't been able to throw the ball their quarterbacks throwing two interceptions and it's just been that type of game I wonder how Stanford is beating all these other teams because you know Oregon had a way better offense uh, Washington has fallen off the map I don't know what happened to them but it seems like Stanford is just not that team and I feel like you know that division is kind of just a mess right now and here on a third and four, here's a throw across the middle. That's Jay Taylor on a linebacker. You gotta take that matchup all day. And that's a gain of 16. And that's why I love lining him up at receiver. He always gets matched up on a linebacker. So on a first and 10, inside of two minutes, here's a counter play out to the left side, getting it inside the 10. And we milk this clock down to under a minute. Here on a third and one, running the ball up the middle, inside the five to about the two. And we can run this clock out, but we're gonna try to get some stats here as Denzel Knox on the next carry. He's getting into the end zone. And that is going to do it in this one. We take home our first Pac-12 championship here in season four. And you know, this has been, I mean, a faster rebuild than I would have ever thought. I didn't know how good this team would be and if we would make it to this point, but already 
winning a Pac-12 championship. We had a Mountain West championship two years ago and Pac-12 championship this year. Denzel Knox gets the player of the game from uh, the game, but I actually give this one to Andrew Jordan, the true freshman. He had two interceptions, both in the first half, one on the first play, pass play of the game for Stanford, and one towards the end of the first half, which set us up with the momentum going into the second half. And this was just a great game all around from both sides of the ball. And, you know, Drayvon Jennings, he, he looked pretty good as well. He threw that one interception, but that was probably our fault. Uh, Denzel Knox got 20 carries. He ran the ball pretty well. And uh, we got to see, are we going to go to the national championship? We do need Florida State, or not Florida State. We do need Virginia Tech to lose. And they were going up against NC State in their conference championship. So hopefully that did happen here as we fast forward and no, it did not. Virginia Tech absolutely destroyed NC State and they go on to be 13 and 0 and they move up to number two in the country. Then that means we're gonna face number four, Iowa. And remember, Iowa was actually ranked number one at some point in this season. I believe it was two weeks ago and they actually lost and this is gonna be a good game as they won the Big Ten Championship. And I think this is how it should have shaped up. Number one versus number two, number three versus number four. And this is gonna be pretty good. This is a fun game. I don't think I played Iowa in a lot of my dynasties at all. So this is gonna be something new and something challenging because Iowa is, one. they were undefeated at one point. So this is gonna be a good game here in the Rose Bowl. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We're coming with the Rose Bowl next episode, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.